Rise and shine, superstars. It's your favorite light, Coach MB in the building. And it's a great day to be alive. You better say it with me. It's a great day to be alive. But I want to talk to you about change and what it takes to commit to it. Because we all have things that we want to change. If we're not honest with ourselves about who it is that we want to be, who it is that we are now, what it is that we want to do, and what it requires to be that person and do those things, then we're never going to stay committed to change. But that's just the foundation, honesty. Okay, so we got the foundation. Then we're going to have five ABCs of honesty. You got accountability. The B stands for belief. The C stands for courage. The D stands for discipline. And the E stands for enthusiasm. So today I'm going to talk to you about accountability real quick. Everybody wants to put pressure for themselves to do something and complete something and be great at something on somebody else. We want to let go of the responsibility. But the people who are able to do the things and become the people and have the things and go the places, they are holding themselves accountable. Yeah, you have accountability partners, but accountability is taking ownership and responsibility. The accountability partners that you have aren't there to push you to do better. It's just to be like, okay, it's like iron sharpening iron. They're doing their thing. Let me do my thing for real, for real, for real. Not drag me out of the bed, call me seven times to get me up because I'd have missed my alarm. That's no, if, if it's important to you, you got to do it. And you have to be accountable for yourself. Take responsibility. Here's the beauty of it, though. When you take responsibility, responsibility is sexy. It's, it's attractive. Because when you take responsibility, you take back your power. You take back your control. Were you abused? Verbally, physically, sexually? Did your parents walk out on you? Did you know your mom but not your dad or vice versa? Did you get fired from the job? Did you lose a parent? Did you lose a spouse? Did you lose a child? Did you blame it on God? Did you blame it on the person who caused the situation? There's so many things that we all go through in life. And it's so easy for us to take the responsibility off of ourselves and put it on somebody else. But whatever we've been through, we've been through it. You got to keep the past in the past if you're trying to get somewhere in your future. And in order to do that, you have to take responsibility of who you are and what you are and what you're doing now. I get it. You've been through some things. I've been through some things. I might be shocked by yours. You might be shocked by mine. But at the end of the day, if you want to change and you want to be committed to change, you got to take responsibility. Take your power back. Y'all remember 2017? Auntie Maxine Waters up there in Congress talking some reclaiming my time, reclaiming my time, reclaiming my time. You need to reclaim your responsibility for what it is that you, what you're doing, what you're not doing. Hold yourself accountable. Make it important. And the way to be accountable is to have a big why and an important who. Those are the two questions you have to ask yourself. If there's something that you want to change about yourself, whether it's getting a promotion or getting starting your own business or losing weight or gaining weight or moving out of the neighborhood into a better neighborhood, then you need to ask yourself, why am I doing this? Why do I want to do this? And who am I doing it for? And the who can't be for yourself. Because the who has been for yourself this past three years these past seven years, these past 10 years, and we're still in the same place. We haven't progressed like we're supposed to. The who is not you, it's who are you doing it for? Your why has to be heavy. Why am I doing this? Is it just because I want more money? Is it just because I, why do I want to be in a better neighborhood? Why do I want this promotion? You got to keep asking yourself why until you get to the very bottom line. Why am I doing this? And then who am I doing it for? So that if you let that person down, it's going to hurt because we've been letting ourselves down and we like, oh, so it's okay. We can try it again later. But there's somebody out there that you just refuse to let down. And if you told them, hey, I'm going to do this for you and you didn't do it, they may not say nothing to you. But you're going to feel so much conviction that you didn't stay committed to what you said you were going to do that it's going to eat you up. So if you want to be committed to change and you really want that change in your life, then be honest with yourself and hold yourself accountable.